Hey Karen, how are you? Hi, how are you? How was your weekend? Very nice, very nice weekend. I went to the theater. Ah, really? Mm -hmm. And the theater in in, in San in Salvador. San Salvador? Yeah, uh -huh. the one the one downtown. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And they have a a special audition. Or? They had a show. It was from Panchimalco. Uh huh. So it was Panchimalco and, and, and Flowers or something like, I think that was the name. So it was, it was pretty nice. They had quite a few, um, a lot of dancing and, you know, um, I don't know, a, a, pretty, a pretty nice event. Ah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone to a theater in many years. I don't remember what age I, I was when I went. Oh, okay. Yeah, we usually, the family, we use, well, not because of COVID, but we usually try to go two or three times a year to, to the theater. We usually go to, try to go to one ballet, one play, one, one presentation, something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, so. that's nice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what about you, Karen? How was your weekend? Uh, I was a studying with my boys <laughs> oh okay and and studying for your your boys are have exams or or for what what were you studying for they, they are they are having exams this 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 week okay so i had to study math with them uh i i didn't remember the some things I had to to watch uh, YouTube videos because I didn't remember. Okay. To in order to because always with math, right? That's the one you always have to go back and see how it was done. Uh huh. Mm. But they 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 told me that maybe uh, the exam went well. One of them think that he might have a 
8.5, but I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, that would be a good grade. 8.5 is good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, all right, good. How about Elias and Stephanie? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, well, my my week it was my weekend it was a little bit relaxed, but also busy because tomorrow I am I am starting my new work. Well, my new and, and my first job. So I'm a, your first I'm a, job. I'm a Wow. Um, my my kind of serious job. First yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Steph, that's great. Where are you going to work? Yes, thank you. I'm going to work for at Concentrics. Concentrics, excellent. So yes, tomorrow, tomorrow you. you begin the training. Yes, okay. the training. Uh, and I and I will work working from home. Okay. Well, we'll see if you like it. You tell us tomorrow after your first day. Okay, I will. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, very good. Congratulations on that. Oh. Yes, thank you. And, and on Saturday, I I installed the equipment that, that they gave to me. By the Is everything working? Mm-hmm. And all that that equipment that that is required. Okay, all right, that's great. Yes. <laughs> all right. Anybody else? How was your weekend, Oscar, Daniel, Sandra, Elias? My weekend was really fantastic because I could enjoy the meteor shower. Uh, but I couldn't see a lot. Some people told him and posted that they could see at least 100 meteors per hour. So it wow. was really beautiful. Yeah. I couldn't see it because I don't have enough space at home. So my kind of sky is just like 100, no, like one and a half meters squared. Yes very small so i just could see 10 of them but there were the most beautiful i have ever seen like a uh, blue trail or green trail it was really beautiful i didn't i you know i didn't see any i didn't even look up i i look up well, i did look up but <laughs> there were, i all i saw were clouds i didn't see too much like last night or the night before i only saw little parts of the sky and no uh, I didn't see anything going by, but that would have been nice. Uh, that happened to me too, but the clouds just disappeared from 10 and above. It was I thought that it was going to be cloudy all night, but it is. it was not. Just, I could enjoy it from 11 to 1 a.m. Wow, you were up very late at one, looking outside of the window, huh? <laughs> yes. I got a stiff neck, but it worked. Okay. Well, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's great. Okay. Yes. Okay. Anybody else? How else was your weekend? Well, in my case, it was nice. We started before the... Disney application on, on, you know, about it, similar to Netflix. So similar we're paying, to, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's on the internet right now. We're just paying in one, 1. 1.25. So we start looking at Star Wars again. <laughs> uh, and a few movies like Lion King and with the kids. So we're enjoying the, the new application it's i don't know how is it called i don't even know the name is disney disney plus disney, disney plus yeah you're right okay wow it's raining right now yes it is really wow. yes. yes okay <laughs> wow 
Okay, so yeah, that was my weekend. Nice home. We we don't use to stay home on weekends, but because of my surgery, we are right now like uh, enjoying home. <laughs> and this Disney Plus, how much did you say it cost, Oscar? Uh, we divide with my brothers in four accounts. We're mm -hmm. paying one point twenty-five per month, so it's fifteen dollars per per year. Ah, fifteen dollars each. Yeah, fifteen dollars each. Hey, so I think if you that's... Agree with someone else, it's a it's a good it's a good option. That is pretty good. Yeah, it is. It is, and you have National Geographic yeah. and something else. Okay. You have not just Disney. You have more things, more more companies. Okay. All right. Well, that's great. I, I imagine your kids are gonna love it. You have. I'm. I'm. Uh, yeah, they love it. Pixar, Marvel, and National Geographic, Star Wars, uh -huh. and Disney. Yeah, th those are all the things that the kids like. They like Disney, they like Pixar, they like Marvel. Mm -hmm. I don't know this too much. This is a, mm -hmm. a bad news for the people that says born cities, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I think yeah. I, it, you know, it's going to be the competition for for Netflix probably. So okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, great. Anybody else would like to share? Okay, nobody else wants to share. Nobody else wants to share. It's okay. Everybody wants to stay quiet. No problem. <laughs> All right, so this is our last week. I hope uh, before we get into today's activity, which is 4.9, the non defining relative clauses. Um, are there any questions about the platform, any exercises, anything that um, you need some help with or support with? I have a question with uh, the exercise 4.2, uh, number three. All right, let's take a look at that. 4.2, number three. A person who works as a comedian is always looking for new ways to make people laugh, right? Uh-huh. So I, I, I wrote a person working as a comedian is always looking for new ways to make people laugh. That's correct. Uh-huh, but it, it's wrong. Mm, maybe you spelled it wrong. But it's correct, a person working, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you wanna, do you wanna share your screen? We can, maybe we can check and see where you, where you made the mistake because the answer is correct. Or, if you can't share the screen, you can put in the chat what, you, how you wrote it, and we'll see. Okay, perfect. I'm, I'm sharing. A person I'm working as, as a. Okay, show us the answer. I see a double space. There you go. Where? where? Uh, between after uh, working. What, between between working and us, right? Yep. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Okay, let me see. Yes, Perfect. thank you, Sandra. <laughs> you have a good eye. That's why I say that many times it's just technical. That. <laughs> <laughs> thank All right. you. Hey, good job. Good teamwork. All right. Is that the only one, Karen? Yes, because I I haven't I haven't finished the final test. Okay, no problem, no problem. We still got a couple of days left. We're, we're getting close. Today we're finishing up the, the unit four so that we can make sure everybody is clear and, and review, okay? Good. And the other lessons are okay, right, Karen? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, anybody else have any other questions? Me. Go ahead, Oscar. Uh, so the last day is, is Thursday, right? 
That is correct. The last day is Thursday. And we start or we continue on January. Yes, yes. I, I believe you can already start to do the process for your documents because many of your companies are going to go on vacation and you probably yes. need the documents and, and all of that before before next week. And that will be the third part of the intensive course. That, that is correct. That would be the... Is, is that the last one? Um, this would be advanced three. Yeah, that should be the last one. That's right. Yeah. What about later? Is there like a, a it, I, team course or you know conversation? I something. I was like that? gonna say I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna open a conversation course. That I think that really depends on how many people they have that finished no. the advance. Oscar, could you hear me or no? Oscar, are you still there? Okay, I'll answer Oscar's question when he comes back. No problem. All right. Um, I don't know, Ernesto, Sandra, did you did you have a question or Elias or Claudia? Anybody else have a question? I don't. No. I already finished everything and I got one hundred out of one hundred. Excellent. Wow, congrats. There you go. A busy <laughs> yeah. weekend, a busy weekend yeah. working, working a lot, Sandra. Great. Yeah. Great. Okay. All right. Well, anybody else? If not, we'll go ahead and continue. Hey, hey there's Oscar. He's back. Can you oh, hear me, Oscar? Um, uh, yeah, I was asking you if, if there's conversation or something else after the third part of the course. Right, right, I was just gonna, I was just answering that, that um, it, it really depends. I think the conversation aspect really depends on how many people enroll at the end because uh, the, the, the difficult part for uh, Ingl Ingles Corporativo is that you need to be graded in some way because INSAFOR pays for it, right? So I, I don't, at this moment, they don't offer a conversation because there's no way to, how do you evaluate like an exam, the homework, uh, all of these things. So I think that once you finish A3 or advanced three, that's it. They don't offer it as part of Insaforp anymore. I think Inglés Corporativo offers it, but as a private course that each person pays, not as a course that Insaforp pays. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Any oh, sure thing, Oscar. Hey, and Oscar, how are you feeling? Are you feeling better? Yes, yes, I'm feeling better. I'm like eighty uh, percent. Just like I cannot make like a normal journey yet. For example, today I went to my clinic morning. So at the end, uh, around eleven thirty a.m., I was feeling like I want to have a seat, right? <laughs> Uh, because the 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 area of the surgery was making like boom boom. How do you say palpitar? I'm uh, blinking. Yeah. So my surgery area was blinking, blinking, and blinking. So I decided to have a seat and rest, and I feel better. But like an hour and a half after. Okay. All right. So, so only work part time. Blinking. Only work part time. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Okay, great. Good, good to hear that. All right, then, guys, we're going to be taking a look at non-defining relative clauses. Um, if you're not clear, let's begin with relative clauses. Relative clauses are like the adjectives. Instead of being one word, it's like a phrase which gives you extra information. Now, that extra information can be important, which is defining, or that extra information can be not important, and just a complement, which is non-defining. The non-defining is the one that we're gonna look at today. So let's watch a small video on non-defining and then I'll answer some questions and we'll talk about the examples they give you. Advanced two, which means you're a step closer to complete your English course. Pay attention to the last topic. Non-defining relative clause. We're about to finish advanced two which means you're a step closer to complete your English course. Pay attention to the last topic. 
non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. You can use non-defining relative clauses with which to make a comment about an entire sentence. I have three cats, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes. My roommate is a slob, which is why I want to get my own apartment. Non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. In these relative clauses, the relative pronoun which refers not to a particular noun, but to the whole idea in the main clause. Non-defining relative clauses are always the second clause in a two-clause sentence. Because these clauses are non-defining, they are set off from the main clause by a comma. This type of non-defining relative clause adds information or a comment that applies to the first clause, but it is not essential information. That cannot be used to begin a non-defining relative clause. For example, laptop computers are easy to carry which is why many people travel with one. People enjoy playing video games, which means new software titles come out all the time. If you notice, these clauses make a comment on the complete sentence as opposed to commenting on just the noun. To finish up, type three sentences using which to make a comment. Mm. You know, I, I'm always curious because there are parts that I hear that are very soft when she's speaking. Um, I don't know if you guys have defining the, relative clauses are always have the same aspect when you when you hear it on your side. Are there like at the end you guys hear when she's very softly speaking? Yes, could you, could you hear her or no? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. All right. Perfect. Well, so the idea where we're looking at our non-defining relative clauses is the concept that it's just an extra information, right? All we want to do is just give a small description about what whatever we're talking about. So it's kind of like just uh, giving a comment uh, or adding some more information, okay? Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, the, uh, uh, my mom makes pupusas, which is my favorite food. The, it, the, the part of that it's my favorite food, that's not important. I mean, it doesn't matter if it is or not. The important is that my mom makes the pupusas, right? That's kind of the idea of the non-defining relative clauses. It's just the, the, the shirt, okay? We're gonna try, we're gonna have a couple ideas, a couple exercises where we use this. Um, the idea of non-defining is just finishing off like a compliment, okay? So, okay. One of the key words that they mentioned that is important to remember is we do not use the word that with non-defining relative clauses. We normally use which or where or something else, but not that. So here in our exercises for us, we're gonna to go to the next one, which is 4.10, okay? And we're gonna just give our ideas, okay? This is the important, this is the sentence. I want to give away all my old books. And then just put in your compliment, put in your opinion, this is which, okay? I had locked my keys in my car, Okay, that's fine. That's that's the fact. Or that's the important. And because of this, what happens? Or what do you do? This is the, the case with which. Okay, the same. I'm going to repaint my next my room next week. Okay, that's the important. And then with which, the same for my son made a robot costume for himself. Our neighbor saves her empty jars for my dad. My new cell phone can store and play music. It's easy to get lost when driving in the new city, and Adam still listens to music in old fashion on an old fashioned record player. So all of those statements help you out because they're there and then you just click the word or you just talk about with your partner the word which. Okay. So as you can see, all of those just are name, okay? So for example, um, I don't know. Uh, in my neighborhood, we recycle. Right? 
in my neighborhood we recycle, which is why we have three garbage cans in my house. I'm giving you the reason, or I'm explaining to you the extra information of why we have the three garbage cans. It's because the important information in my neighborhood, we recycle. It's okay, everybody got the idea what they're gonna do with their partners? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, perfect, let's do it then. Let's use these non-defining relative clauses and just complete them with your ideas. Good afternoon. Good evening, Claudia. How are you? Good evening. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, that's good. And how was your day today? Was uh, it, was, it was fun. What about oh. you, Stephanie? Yes, it was a good day for me too. Um, I... I also did a lot of um, housework here, like cooking and cleaning my house and so on, just helping my family. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's okay. Uh, the teacher said uh, we should re resolve what exercise, what number? I don't remember. No, it's not an exercise. Well, yes, it's an exercise, but it's not in the platform. It's uh -huh. just a conversation between ah, you and I. Ah, conversation. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, I, I saw a, it could be number four, exercise number four, but no, it's only conversation. Yes. Oh, okay. It's only conversation, giving examples, using the non-related clauses. Ah, okay. With wish. Yes. Okay. For okay. example, as the teacher said, in my neighborhood, uh, we recycle, which, which we have, I think, three kinds for the trash. Is that correct, teacher? That is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's an example that the teacher gave us. I I let me let me uh, in my case I want to go to the supermarket in which. Um, is is easy. I know. Is easy to buy? No, 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 no. There no which. There would be where because you're there. Uh, you're, where, you're, where? Because there is the location, right? The supermarket that where is easy to buy. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay. For example, so it would we, the. the for example, Claudia, it could be, I want to go to the supermarket, which is, uh, which is near my house. Ah, uh, which is near my house. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I want to go to the supermarket where uh, I, where I, could be where I, I buy all, or where I find all the, uh, based upon uh -huh, that's right health food oh, health food health food yes that would be correct teacher yeah. I've got a question yeah um, if, for example in the sentences that Claudia gave us um, I mean what is exactly the meaning here of which because I got confused when you said where. Where is, this is, 
the location. It's always for location. So where is exactly like when we say the place, okay? okay. And which is for like activities or actions? Okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. that, that's why you say uh, which is near my house. Correct. Because it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a characteristic. Correct, exactly. And um, where, where you're gonna, where you can say uh, the, the location where you do this action. So I like, I like the hotel where my mother got married. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, or I, um, I like to visit the stores. Um, no, nowhere, but I like to visit the stores um, which give good service. Nowhere give good service. Ah, uh, yes. In the, in the case, it's which. Uh-huh. Exactly. Okay, I get it now. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. For example, uh, I, love, I love you play for night, which is my favorite, my favorite, uh, uh, Lo mismo voy a decir, mismo juego, my favorite juego. ¿Cómo se dice juego? Play. No. Me, my, my, my favorite game. Correct. Game my favorite play. game, play. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yes. Ah, okay. here is the teacher. Uh, you could ask yes. the example of the boss. What was the question? Uh, uh, teacher, uh, I, I, I was a, uh, I was a confused uh, because with the topic mm -hmm. but uh, non defining classes is uh, como el nexo para decir el cual es o el quien es así lo entiendo yo teacher mm. yeah 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 I, that that's that's kind of the idea, exactly. Uh, uh -huh. Remember that the, the difference is that defining clause, you can change for the which. For example, you can use where, uh, or you can use another word. Um, uh, here is because it's non-defining, we, we don't use the other word like that, but uh -huh. it's, it's only to join the sentence. So, um, I like the supermarket. Uh, uh, where I can buy, I don't know, where I can buy sushi. It, it, this is non-defining classes or defining classes? Non-defining. Uh, non-defining. No, 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 sorry, sorry the, I, I like the supermarket where I can where? buy uh, sushi is defining because only in, you need this information to know which supermarket I mean. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. And teacher, the, okay. And, and the non-defining is the ones that give the compliment, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, uh, another example. Uh, but what was the, the example that, that you deal with the bus? Mm, or oh, another example, maybe. Uh, I, 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 I love you to eat pizza, which is my favorite food. Exactly, exactly, because it's extra that it's your favorite food. The, the important is you love to eat pizza, and then, uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay, teacher, okay, teacher. Okay. Karen, Karen, another example, Karen. Okay. Okay. To, to understand and the English when they are in, tra in the traffic. Yes, it's very complicated because, you know, uh, when I watch movies or hear music in English, it's very, very easy. I understand like the 90% of what they say, but it's mm -hmm. not the same when you're talking with a person or when you're talking through the radio with a pilot because mm -hmm. uh, it's more it's due the uh, quality of the sound 
Y mm -hmm. The interference is in the space, I guess. Interference. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Okay, yeah. There's a lot of background noise. And, but you have to be very, uh, very paying a lot of attention to, the, to what they say. Mm -hmm. That's why we need to, to what? To be in a speaking course, like the one uh, was explaining the, the teacher. Ah, the teacher explained that uh, actually there's something about the, the speaking course. No, yeah, he was saying that. Um, I I think that he was something like saying that we need a uh, uh, to be in a in a in a speaking group for practicing the the language. Mm. In mm -hmm. fact, the teacher is here. <laughs> I am. I'm right here. <laughs> is he I don't <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> yes, no, the, the, uh, I was mentioning that uh, the problem is that uh, for, uh, for INSAPFORP, the, there is no way to, to grade you in the speaking course because there's you need uh, exercises or homework or different things so that's why the insaforp doesn't offer the speaking course at least not not in this moment i think so probably do you only have the next course which is the advanced three and then after that i'm not sure if you're going if they're going to offer the speaking course mm -hmm. Uh, I hope that they open a course, a speaking course, because we need it. <laughs> we need to continue speaking. Sorry, I couldn't give you the complete information. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's how it is. That's how it is. We're going to okay. wait. Hopefully, hopefully they, they will, but we don't know. Okay. Uh, number five. Yes, for MTRs, which is great since he used them to store mm -hmm. nails and things mm -hmm. in his workroom. Yep. Okay. Hey, why don't, why don't you never put your camera? It's just because a I don't have light here. <laughs> oh. Yes, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. It was just a mm -hmm. question because you look nice on your picture. Um, hey, can you help me with, um, okay, we're done with 4.10, right? Nine. Yes, 10. Can you help me with the 4.2 number four? Okay, let me check. People who are clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal will make good detectives so the answer will be people clever that's the answer that i wrote down mm -hmm, mm -hmm. people clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal will make a good detectives period can you show me your your screen because uh, i heard that it was okay it was right uh-huh where did you go to share the screen and put more, right? Record, chat, participants. Let me check. I have never shared a screen. In the green me. button, which is green. Say, Oh, yeah, here you are. Here. Yeah. Pantalla. Okay. Okay. Screen. Share. Okay, here you see. So it says. Oh, Cleaver is. He's wrong. Why? Cleaver is an adjective. So, I mean, it doesn't use ing, right? Yes. So, what will be the answer? People? The same word, but without ing in there in the USA. Uh, yes, I have been in Los Angeles and San Francisco. Ah, two, the two parts. that's cool. Yes, yes, it's, 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 it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes, yes, it's beautiful. I, Do you recommend to visit there? Yes, I recommend visit 
eh, visit, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Disney. I visit Disney, Disney with my daughters. And ah. visit um, I don't Hollywood. Hollywood. Yes, Hollywood, but Hollywood is conservatorio. The name is conservatorio. It's, it's, it's ah. in front of, it's in front of mountain, Hollywood mountains. Ah, but that's the place when you can see the Hollywood uh, letters. Hollywood. I don't know. But, Teacher. <laughs> yeah. Fair is Preso Justo. That, yes, fair, but it's just Justo, not, not necessarily Preso Justo, but yeah, that's right. Ah. Okay. okay, teacher, okay, teacher. We are talking about the, the uh, they are stuck in the market right now. You, sorry, can you say that again, Karen? Uh, we are talking about the PS5. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh aha. -huh. There aren't any stock in any store right now. No, no, there aren't. I need someone. I need someone. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Is this yeah. You have you have to to maybe in marketplace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There aren't any 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 PlayStation Cinco right now. But, I, it, but this this gift is for for you for yourself or for your kids? Uh, for 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 everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but, but more for you, I think, Daniel, because you are worried. <laughs> my, uh, in this pandemic, my my daughters uh, was so so occupied, so busy, so busy play PlayStation, and no han sentido mucho la pandemia por eso. Ah, she hasn't felt. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Because uh, um, uh, the, the, because ella, ¿cómo lo digo? Teacher Day. Day, uh -huh. ah, que lo, aunque lo estoy diciendo uh, por unas niñas. Be yes, because it's Day, it's two. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Because they was to play Station 5 during the pandemic. Is very expensive right right now because now is not the normal price. They have a uh, PlayStation Five, but it's like one thousand six hundred dollars. Yeah, 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 it's expensive. expensive. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. yes. Maybe you just you just need to wait and gave and gave them for a special. Uh, what is the Valentine's uh, Day? Ah, uh, maybe. Memory. Uh huh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, in my case, I I wait for my for um, for uh, buy this PlayStation Cinco. Uh, maybe to uh, después de unos dos tres meses, quizás. No more. I think I think more. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I think it's going That to be a long time. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, I, I, he pedido. I ordered. I ordered uh, to my brother in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, buy the PlayStation 5 for me. Uh. And, and yes, and then when I, I go, I go to visit my brother. Uh, I you get yo it. La traigo. I, yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. No, but in this moment it's not possible. Mm, in this moment it's very expensive. Yes, it's very expensive, teacher. Mm -hmm. Very expensive. But your kids still believe in Santa, Daniel, or, or they are bigger? ¿Cuál es la respuesta, Ivo? Uh, which is great because I can listen to it while I'm on the subway. 
Okay, my great. new cell phone can store and play music, which is great because I can listen to it while I'm on the subway. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The complete information is in the number six. My new cell phone can store and play music, and that's it. Uh, the extra information is is what any information that you you want to to add to. Number seven. That's right. Yeah. Third one. Mm -hmm. we'll right. Uh -huh. Fourth. Help clients decide what looks best. Uh, Samir, all right? Yeah, she's the she's no. the no. No, me. Yes. She's a designer. Yeah, no. Listen but. to Samir. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Dishon has to offer. Well, it's match the appropriate idea with the right place. So after I come up with an idea, I present it to my client. Sometimes they don't like my first idea, and boy. Okay. Think about the competition. Alex Sintek. And present ideas to a client that will be Tommy Campbell. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> okay. I like this platform. What I don't like is that I don't have time enough for it. After the class, sometimes I don't have time for me. Okay. Any questions? Not yet. No? No. Okay. So as we can see, we're really all it is is that we're just giving compliments, right? We're just adding extra information. Of course, you can have information that is necessary, but then that becomes the defining clauses. Non-defining is all about extra information, okay? Okay. So, uh, whatever you want to describe, the, um, I don't know, the most important newspaper in El Salvador um, has 100,000 readers, which sells for 50 cents, okay? The, the fact of the price of the, uh, of the newspaper is not important. It's just that it's the most uh, read or is the most important newspaper. That's the important. So sometimes you uh, you don't really need to know it, but uh, grammatically you do because the, the only difference grammatically is that it has a comma. So if it's extra information, you know because you have a complete sentence when you remove it. So if you don't have that part, then it's still a complete sentence. But if it's defining, that means that if you remove it, you don't have a complete sentence. And that's how you're going to know the difference. So if you have a complete sentence, it's extra and you use a comma. If you remove it and you don't have a complete sentence, it's non-defining and you don't use the comma. Does that help you out a little bit? It's a good tip. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that, the, the main idea is that. The main, the main idea, the tip is really just that, okay, if you're not sure, in really in speaking, it doesn't matter. Because in speaking, you don't have the comma. You don't, the people don't see the comma, okay? But the question is, if it's not, okay? If you're writing, okay, you you need the comma. Is it going to make a difference? No. Is it correct? Yes. Are the people still going to understand you? Of course. Okay. So the I don't know the the box or, or the shipment which I ordered last week hasn't come. Okay. The order hasn't come, uh, which is. A, which I ordered last week. It, you know, it, the, the important is the order hasn't come. If I remove it, it's still the order hasn't come. That's the important information. Doesn't matter when I ordered it. Okay. All right, so I think that's pretty clear, right? That we have the main ideas. Of course, sometimes we can also use, here we're just using which, right? But um, I, I can remember, I mentioned to someone else that is also common to use other words, um, like uh, where, who, um, you know, whom, whose, okay? Many of these are used in relative ones because they're just, that's it. They're used for a compliment. Would anybody like to try to give an example and see if it's correct? Ernesto. All right. Let's volunteer Ernesto. All right. Thank you, Oscar. All right, Ernesto. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, my friend. Then, uh, hey, it's going to participate, Sandra. All right. <laughs> Ernesto, what? <laughs> I got you. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, an example. Let me see. Um, what can I say? I haven't received the package yet. Uh, which is why I'm making a comply to the company. Good, a complaint. Complaint, thank you. Very good, very good. That's right, okay. Now, it's very common we're using them at the end, but I want to make sure that everybody's clear. We can also use them in the middle, okay. My computer, which I bought last year, is, no, which I bought 10 years ago, is still working. Okay, my computer is still working is the sentence. Yes, it's logical. But the extra information is which I bought 10 years ago. Wow, that's amazing. You see, so we can put in the middle or we can put at the end. It all depends on how you want to say it. M many times you put in the middle if you continue a compliment and you put at the end if there's not going to be any more information. If you put in the middle, you just mention or you just state the topic. Oscar, which is my student, uh, had a surgery last week. The important is Oscar had a surgery last week. And then, which is my student, that's the extra information. Okay, well, technically it wouldn't be Oscar, which is my student. I, I, technically, I apologize, it would be Oscar who is my student because Oscar is a person. Okay. All right, guys. Then we're going to. This example is before you mention who is or which is, the comments, the comma needs to be present. Correct. It's present before and it's present after if it's extra information. So if it's an ad, like an adjective or an, an opinion, then it's going to have a comma. If it's not an opinion, if it's not like an adjective, then it doesn't have a comma. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, in that case, we're going to pause right there. Tomorrow, we're going to take a look a little bit at the unit test. We're going to review a couple of the things to make sure everything is clear, practice some speaking, and, you know, hopefully we'll answer any of your questions that you might have about the platform. Cool. Okay, guys, have a great night. If there are no questions, have a nice night.
everybody. Good night. Good yeah, night. everybody's quiet today. Yeah. Good night. Bye bye.